What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Redline Revs. Today what we're going to be doing is reviewing this. This is an eBay um, ODB2 port Bluetooth transmitter. Uh, so what that allows you to do is that it, it, it plugs into the diagnostic port of your car. Um, it's got a Bluetooth transmitter here so you can then pair that with your phone or your mobile device, tablet, whatever it might be. Um, and then you can scan for fault codes, diagnostic codes, you can clear engine management lights that might come up on the dash. Um, but you can also do lots of other cool stuff as well. So you can have like digital boost gauges um, and, and all sorts of other digital gauges with certain uh, mobile apps that allow you to do that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, let's get this open and have a look at it. Now as far as the little thing of eBay goes, it's actually packaged quite nicely. But I'll uh, quickly just set it up here. Uh, so this one is labelled Extrons, if you're looking to get the same one on eBay. It cost me £6.99 with free delivery, uh, black with a white um, port for the ODB2. Uh, now, the reason I got this one actually is because it has an on-off button. So I was quite keen to get something like that. I've actually had one of these before. It was the absolute cheapest one on eBay. Uh, they're kind of like a see-through blue color um, and those cost me like four pounds. Problem with that though is that it always had a light that was blinking, that was flashing um, and I would have to take it, when I switched my ignition off, I would have to take it out of the ODB2 port uh, to be able to get it to go off. Uh, so with this one there's an on-off switch so I can leave that plugged in and turn it on and off as I like. Now let's get this uh, in the car and see how it does. <coughs> right, so I'm in my Seat Leon Cupra R and I've got the eBay Extrons ODB2 port Bluetooth transmitter. Now this claims that it uh, supports all ODB2 uh, protocols, so you should be able to use this on any car with an ODB2 port. Um, and I actually do have a light or two on my dash, so let's take a look at that quickly. I'm gonna start the engine. And there you go, we've got the check engine light on right there. Um, so let's plug this in. We've got the Exron's port reader there. That's the ODB2 port in the safe zone Cooper R, conveniently placed. Just need to push this in and press on. And it's fired up. Okay. Looks like it's a long click to put it on and off, uh, but you can see the lights are on there, we've got power. Now I just need to pair it to my phone. Right, we're now looking at my phone screen and I am going to open up my Bluetooth over here and see if we can find the ODB2 port reader. So it is on in the car, I'm sitting in the car with the phone, uh, scanning for devices. And here it is. The one that's already paired in this list is, is an older one. So the new available device, ODB2, has um, come up there. So now it's asking me to try these two different codes. Let's try the first one there. 0000. zero, zero, zero. Okay, see if that works. That has not worked, so we'll try again. And there's another code it was suggesting. It'll be one of the two. And the other code is 1234. So let's try that. Okay. And fantastic, we have now paired with this uh, Bluetooth ODB2 port scanner. Uh, so now from my phone, I can actually just go into an app, and over here I've got Talk Light, which is a free version of a Android app that allows you to um, not only uh, not only to, to, to clear codes, fault codes in the car, but also it allows you to, to sort of set up these digital gauges. Actually, the light version, the gauges are, aren't that accurate, but in the in the premium version of the software, which I also have, they work quite well. So I'm just going to go actually here into the settings in the bottom bottom left corner. This is just one app that I've got on my phone, but you you can you can find lots that do these. And we're going to look into fault codes here, and um, we are going to show logged faults. So let's have a look. Whoops, it's not connected yet. So now it's connecting to the ODB2. I have not made the connection yet. 
Okay, so not to worry. Uh, let's look at... Ah, okay, there we go. So uh, it's taking me to the settings now to select which one of my ODB2 port uh, readers I want. So it's going to be the new one. So it must be this one. Okay, so obviously it's a bit confusing for me because I've had two of these paired to this app and this phone and this car before. Uh, but hopefully this one should do it. And connecting adapter not found, retrying. Checking protocol. Automatic search. I think it's actually found something, has it, has it? Connected to the ECU, okay, fantastic. Right, so now just looking at these digital gauges actually, you'll be able to see I've got like a, a little vacuum and boost. Um, and if I accelerate, you see it shows me the requested PSI. I'm not sure how accurate this is. Actually, I found that it wasn't very accurate compared to the paid version of the app. But let's go back to what we were originally here to do, which is to scan my fault codes. That's what we're doing now. And it should give us the codes that are on the system. So I've got two codes here. Uh, 420, I know that one. Uh, that's the catalytic converter. Um, and the other one was one that I haven't come across before, but I may well have already fixed it, because actually it's been a while since I cleared these codes. Uh, so that's the camshaft position A. Uh, yeah, that's been done as well. Okay, so now I can just go into clear logged faults. Are you sure you want to clear? Yes. Okay, so that's that. Okay, and we can see here now that the fault code has disappeared. Um, so that's really handy, and like I said, because it's got this on-off button here, I can just keep it in the car, use it when I want, and uh, just switch it off when I'm done with it. And uh, it's not rinsing battery or anything like that, or flashing away um, in the car when I'm not there. I think that's pretty cool, I quite like these. Um, I'll probably do another review of the paid version of that Talk app a little bit later um, because I quite like it and everything it allows you to do and it sort of shows off what's possible with these Bluetooth LDP uh, port readers. But yeah, I think that's you know well worth six pounds. Everybody should have one in their car um, and uh, it's just you know really handy to have. So I hope you found this useful and if you did, please make sure you rate, make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe. There's a lot more coming up. Stay tuned to Redline Revs.